we were given matrix A with matrix A equal to matrix P times matrix D times the inverse of matrix P. And we're also given matrix P and matrix D. We want to find A to the fifth. Because A is equal to P times D times P inverse, we know matrix A is diagonalizable and can be written in the form of P times D times P inverse. So once we have the diagonalization of matrix A, we can determine the fifth power of matrix A by determining P times D to the power of five times P inverse. Because we are given matrix P and matrix D, the next step is to find the inverse of matrix P. And there are several ways to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the inverse matrix formula shown here, where we have one divided by the determinant of matrix A times the matrix where the entries are D, negative B, negative C, A, with the original entries of matrix A as A, B, C, D. Which means the inverse of matrix P is equal to one divided by the quantity five times one minus negative one times one, and then times the matrix where the entries are one, one, negative one, five. Again, the entries along the main diagonal changed positions, so the five in row one, column one, moved to row two, column two, and the one in row two, column two, move to row one, column one. And then we change the sign of the element in row one, column two, and change the sign of the element in row two, column one. Simplifying, we have one sixth times the matrix one, one, negative one, five, which gives us the inverse of matrix P. So now we know matrix A is equal to P times D times P inverse, and therefore we can now determine matrix A raised to the fifth power by determining P times D raised to the fifth power times P inverse. So here we have matrix P, here we have the fifth power of the diagonal matrix D, and then we have times the inverse of matrix P. For the next step, because matrix D is a diagonal matrix raised to the fifth power, we can determine D to the fifth by raising the entries along the main diagonal to the fifth power. Simplifying, we now have the product of three matrices to determine the product, we multiply from left to right. Determining the first product in row one, column one, we have five times 1,024 plus negative one times zero, which is 5,120. In row one, column two, we have five times zero plus negative one times negative 32, which is positive 32. In row two, column one, we have one times 1,024 plus one times zero, which is 1,024. And then in row two, column two, we have one times zero plus one times negative 32, which is negative 32. And then we determine the final product. In row one, column one, 5,120 times one sixth plus 32 times negative one sixth is 848. In row one, column two, we have 5,120 times one sixth plus 32 times five sixths, which is 880. In row two, column one, we have 1,024 times 1 sixth plus negative 32 times negative 1 sixth, which is 176. And finally in row two, column two, we have 1,024 times 1 sixth plus negative 32 times 5 sixths, which is equal to 144. I hope you found this helpful.